Hi everyone, welcome to another Linux for Bioinformatics tutorial session. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add headers to parts. All right, so that's what we are going to do. Let's take a look at an example here. So what we are going to do is to look at an example data like this without headers. And then we are going to issue a one-liner command that will give us headers such as this one here. You know, in bioinformatics, sometimes you have your files, your outputs, and the files will not have headers, all right? So downloading the files, or let's say, send a file to another PC, and then adding headers manually sometimes um, can be a waste of time if you can just do it on the terminal, all right? So I'm going to show you how to do that soon. So for this story, I have prepared some example data we are going to use which can be found here. So I have two files we we'll use. So we are going to use this file here, All right? So what I want you to do is to visit this page. The link to this page is in the description box and then download this example file here. So click it and then you'll be sent to this page. So when you are sent to this page, just click this side to download. But you can also use the terminal to download by getting the download link. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy this link. All right, and I'll go to the terminal to start. So I am on the terminal now. So what I want you to do is to first create a directory that you work in. So I'll say made the Linus and then I'll CD into it. Now I'm going to download the example data. So I'll use wget and I'll supply it with a link. So this is a zip file which has the data. So let's execute the command. All right, the files have been downloaded. It's one file by the way. Let's take a look at it. Let's do an ls. It's a zip file. So what we are going to do is to extract the content of this zip file. So I'll see on zip, adding headers. So I'm going to find the files. There. So I have two files. All right, so I'll do an ls. I'll find the files here. So one is a TSV file. And one is a variant of CSV file. So the gens count file here, this TSV file here, it was generated using feature counts. I've covered it too under. So for those who are interested in RNA-seq analysis, um, you can also look at this one. It has read counts. And this one is variant. It has variant information. I've also covered a tutorial on this, by the way, where I showed how to generate um, VCFs. Or let me just say how to call variant and how to also process VCFs. So um, this is also an output of one of tutorial. So check the description box. You'll find links to all those videos. Now let's get to today's topic. So today's topic, we are looking at how to add headers. So I'll start with the gen count here. This is a TSV file. So let's look at something here. So let's do a head like this to get it. So you will see what we have here. So we have three columns. This, this, this. So this is column one which has the gen IDs, the column two and three are counts. All right, we count for different samples. So what we have to do is to add headers to it. So you add a gen ID header, you add the sample, sample ID or sample names for this and this. So we are going to use the set command. It's very, very simple, all right, very, very simple to use. Let me just do this again. Let me do a head first again. So we are going to use the set command to do this. That's SED. So to add the headers, we call set and we bring a quotes and we say one I. And then we bring a slash and then we will specify the headers. Now, you should also take into consideration the separation. So what character is being used to separate the columns? For this particular file here, the columns are separated by tabs. That's why it's called tab separated values. Okay, so for tab, the character that is used to represent it or to specify, let's say the characters is slash T. I will do everything here. I will just represent it for you to see. All right, so let's get back. So after one I, you bring your slash and we you specify your headers. So we have three columns. That means we will need three headers. So I'll start with the first header. So that is gen ID. And then after specifying the first header, you also need to include a separator. So here and here, there's a separator. 
here and here there's a separator. So the separator in this file is a tab character. So for tabs, we represent it with slash t. Take note of that. So gen id, that's this column. There's a tab here, and that is what we are representing here, slash t. And then you add the second header. So let's say this is sample one. You can say sample one or sample zero one. That's also fine. And then you bring your slash t again because there's another column here. Okay, and then you specify, let's say sample zero two. And then that is it. All right. So we have your said one i slash this slash is supposed to come and then you have all this information also here so you have them here like this so gen id and then there's a tab here which is slash t and there's another column here that's a sample zero one that's the read count for sample zero one and then there's another tab which is here and we have sample zero two and then we bring our single quotes here so this is how we do it all right, so after specifying the information like this, then we also need to supply the set with our file. All right, the file where in which we want to add the headers. So it is this file, this is the name. So we specify it here. So we say jenscounts.tsv. So this becomes our final command. Okay, so let's execute this command. So when we execute, we will have this. I repeat, when we execute, we are going to have something like this. But it's all the lines that have been displayed. So what we can do for the start is to just use the head to get a few lines of it. And then we are going to see the headers here. All right. Now when we open it with a special software, you will know how it is. All right. Now what we did with this set command here, with the head or the head, is to just add the headers, but we can also save the outputs to another file. So we can do that here. So we can just redirect the outputs to another file. So we can say maybe gen counts, let's say with headers. Let's give it an appropriate with headers. All right. Dot TSV. Okay, so we can do it this way. So let's execute this command. So once we do that, if you do an ls, you find another file here, gen counts, and now we can do a head on it to see it here. Now let's open this with our special software. I think that would be better so that we can see what is actually happening. All right, so we have our files here. So this is the original one, genecount.tsv. I'll open it. Let's see. So this is it. And this is also the one with headers. You can open all of them with a space of so that's, so that's what I'm doing. So open this one also, and you see it here. So now you can see what is happening. So the headers have been added nicely. So we have this. And we also have this. Let me just zoom in. All right. So we have like this. So instead of trying to waste time to now come to open with a special software and then coming to do um, inserts like this, maybe insert and type in all these headers, all these things can be a waste of time, especially if you're dealing with lots of files. And so once it's it's it makes it easier if you can just issue a one liner command like I did to just add the headers. That's what I'm referring to here. Now let's get back to our terminal. There is something else I want to show you. Let's clear the screen. Let's do an ls. Now it's also possible to actually make the changes on the same file without having you to uh, make a copy or save it to another output file. You can actually use a set operation and save all the changes in this particular file here the original file it's also possible though i always advise against it but if you want to do it it's fine you can still do it all right 
for this tutorial we already have the original also in this zip file so even if you modify this that's also fine we can just do it all right but for the sake of um just making a backup for best process i'll just make a copy of this and then use so i'll just say cp james counts blah 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 and i'll say james counts let's say copy.tsv i'll just do it this way and then i'm going to perform the operation on it so that you see what i'm talking about so i'll do that for you to see all right so let's do this let's do that so we are now going to issue the set command again but this time we are going to modify the original file so to modify the original file let's say to save the changes in the original file we use the same set and this time we say dash i that's the only difference all right in the in what we did previously and what we are going to now the rest remains the same so one i slash gen id slash t sample o1 slash t sample o2 and then you specify so we are just going to modify the copy this copy here all right so it's james counts underscore copy the tsv all right so we are going to do it this way so let's execute this command all right so now if i do a head on the james counts underscore copy the one we copied we are going to see what the changes are being affected there so if you don't want to save the output to a different file then you can add a dash i and then the changes will be made on the same file but i always advise you create a copy so that you have the original file intact all right so that's what we have now we have done an example with a tsv file but you can also do it with a csv file all right i just want to show you something else now let's play the screen now let's do an ls all right we have our files here so what we are going to do next is to use a set combat this time on a csv file so for csvs they are comma separated values so we will use this one there's variant all right let's do a head on it and we see it here all right All right, so this is how a typical CSV file looks like. So all the columns are separated by commas. So you have one, this comma, this comma, this, this, this. So this, these are variant information. So the first column is a chromosome. I think I showed that earlier. Let me just show it again. Yeah, that's, that would be better. Yeah, so that is what I show here. So we have this 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 and this all right so this is chromosome number this is position this is ref and this is alt all right so if you open with a spreadsheet software of course the separator characters will not be shown but on the terminal it will be shown like this okay to let you know that um, we have some um, separations here so that's what i have here. so chromosome position ref alt so something like this too is possible to add the headers all right so let's do this let's also do this so this one now you know the drill all right so we say to add the headers for a csv file like this you say set we bring our codes one i slash this is chrome and this time around instead of the tab character we are using comma because here the separations or let me just say the separator is a comma so we bring our comma we bring our position comma we bring our ref comma we bring our alt and then we close it and then we specify the variance like this so this time when we are going to save it straight away we are not going to do any display because we've done that already anyway let me just do it again some people may still want it repeated so i'll do it all right so we will have it like this is a set command to add headers to a csv file and so let's execute this command 
So we have it here. Let's just display a few lines of it because this will display everything. So we do this, we have our head. So we can see it's nicely done for us. All right, so that's how we do it. So now what we will do is to, instead of displaying, we will save it to an output file. So I'll do it here. So I'll reissue the command again, set. Uh, this time I'll do it like this, because I have, I have already entered it. And then I'll just redirect it and I'll see variant with headers. And I'll see dot CSV. All right. So that's how we do. So now let's rerun the command. So now it's done. Let's run ls. We are going to find it there. We have variants with headers. So we can do a head like this, and that will also be done for you. So that's how we do it. All right. All right. So we have added the headers now. So let's also open the output with our spreadsheet software. So I'll just come here. So I have that here. So I have my variants, that's the original CSV. I have the one with headers. So I'll open both of them. I'll open both. Yeah. So there's the variants, the original file. We see it here. And this is also the one with the headers. We see that also here. So it has been done nicely for us. So that's how we do it. All right. Now let's go back to the terminal. So it's also possible to remove headers from files. So that's the tutorial that I've also covered. So if you want to watch that video, you can just use this video that has been shown right now. All right. If you're also interested in other Linux tutorials, then this playlist that will be shown has lots of videos that will help you learn more when it comes to Linux.